hello zero so for this one i'll just be demonstrating uh this output so this is based on your requirement but this is based also on my experience on how i would achieve it if it were me so for this demo i have only one table this table is named data source transport set so this one contains data like this so i intentionally created a blank one because this blank one will be the reference on why this button here is still disabled so what we have here is a disabled button because we still have one required row that is yet to be filled so if we go to the code of this one it just counts uh the the number of rows that have blank columns so this is similar to like um the one that i have give you the code so that's it and this one this here it counts the rows and this one it counts like the the number this so this is the number that is based at this is the count row result that is used as basis for this um, display mode of this button so what it's counting is actually a live table so the actual data of that table that we are referring to which is the transport set is this one so i just wanted to demonstrate things because what happened is that i feel like the main reason why the result is not counting properly is because the backend data is not updated so in this case what you actually have to do is that every time you make changes with the value you need to update the backend data right away so how to do it on the on change of the text uh of the text inputs so never use on select because on select this means once you select it it's gonna update on change means like if you make changes so let's try this one so this is the first um this is the first first uh, row here so this is the one so what i will do is i will update uh the item sn this one so let's try doing it uh this one i will update one two three four so right now even if i'm typing it's not updating because on change is only triggered once you move away from the text input so once i move away i click on outside here see this one is updating already so if i start entering information here it should update this empty row here so like let's say one two three uh, this one then There. so as you can see it's already updated and we have like the form submission uh enabled so okay so what i also add is this one just in case you want to see how patch works with buttons i have added this one this one is you know, using on select it will update the required value so for example this one i enabled it earlier there was only three required items and now it become four and if we remove this one and then update it it's gonna be disabled because we have one row that has an empty data so i think what you have to work on first is you need to work on the the collection that you are using as reference you need to ensure that it has the updated data you can always use patch so like what i did here i have patch in every text input so i have this one here if you notice just leave the on change so they have the same code self.txt but the only thing is that i'm assigning it to the right column so this one once this is changed it's it will update the item sn this one it will update qr code this one will update the submat number so as well as the manufacturer shorts so that is it and this one if if you're wondering oh, why am i showing this so i just want to emphasize again this and this are 
the same the same data source if you click this one you see this is still transport set this one is still transport set the only thing that is missing in your code right now is actually the on change code if i delete this on change i think it's still blank on your end so what happened is that whatever you do you make changes to the gallery on the back end what happened there is no update that is being made to this row because you have no um, patch code on that one so the counting itself is not working so that's why you need to work on this part here to ensure that it's counting so i think that's the end and i hope you kind of figure out what i mean in here so that's why i asked those questions earlier because i need to understand where you are coming from and you might encounter a lot of issues later if you don't try to follow this way of updating your data that's it